anybody follow you? Some brother on the off-ramp gave me the eye, but I took the face of action. Can't ever be too careful. Yeah, that's the problem with big cities like this. Too many different kinds of people. Wrong kinds of people. You know what I mean? Why is it that all self-proclaimed militia types look like they never make it through basic training? All that patriotic apple pie. This isn't a joke. We can't move until we know Stern's brought the chemical with him. We're working on it. Don't pop a vein. You bring the stuff? I want to seal Bennett's plans. Inside. Just okay to park here? You know those people love to steal cars. I think you can chance it. Beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, it's honey. So, uh, what's the target? IRS building, Washington, D.C. New World Order Central. When this baby goes off, it'll be another shot heard around the world. From the east to the west, blow the trumpet to arms. Through the land of the sound of it free. At the far and the near, all rejoice with a cheer in defense of our liberty tree. Thomas Paine. Okay, Commander. I showed you mine. You show me yours. Why don't you give me the lowdown on these plans, huh? Well, you have your holding canister here. That's where we'll mix the rice in with the compressed air. Your motor, your valve to release the gas. It's all off the shelf, except for the remote control. That I'll build from scratch. My remote. The fuse. Mr. Bob? The high pressure gas delivery. Your goods require special. Something's wrong. Bringing us to put up or shut up time. Rice. Mother Nature's our own nerve toxin. 6,000 times more deadly than cyanide. Get one grain of that in your lungs, two days later, you'll be bleeding your guts out. That's a signal. Goods are on site. Get ready to go. You guys smell something burning? What the hell is this? What, you're wired? Go, go. Trumpet to arms? I did a lot of reading in the joint. You know, I thought you were just looking at the pictures. Yeah, it's an expensive show. Be careful with my clothes, huh? Then what's it doing on my side of the loft? I was taking it to the laundry. Oh, really? Is my cereal looking at the washing machine to you? Hey, can we get a little peace and quiet around here for once? Are you talking to me, man? Bob, I'm sorry I can't hear you because my eardrums are bleeding. What is the matter with you, dude? Yeah, you're awfully touchy for a guy that almost got us killed today. Not to mention half of Los Angeles. What'd you say? I almost got us killed? You bug shorted. Yeah. Because some moron put it in a coffee cup. Oh, oh, now it's my fault. No, not now. It's almost always your fault. Hey, listen up. Kowalski wants us down to our office right now, especially 
You. Me? Yeah. She said, why me? See? I told you it was your fault. How much longer can you burn those? Not a nutrient in it. Hey. 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 O'Connor's on the warpath. What'd you do this time, Royal? Agent Carducci, upon advice of counsel, I declined to answer. On the grounds that I might incriminate myself. Although I'm willing to discuss it over dinner. My husband hates when I work late. Oh, why do you hurt me? <sighs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. You too slow for me. <laughs> Mr. O'Connor got a very nice man. He yells too much. His mother loves him. Listen to that CD I got you? <laughs> I like it. <laughs> all right, now all you gotta do is work on some new wheels for you, Roy. Okay. O'Connor wants you in Agent Kowalski's office right away. Half the brass is in there. Is this about that bug thing? Because that bug thing wasn't my fault. Oh, Ben. In here. Now. It's about the bug. This isn't about the bug, huh? 45 minutes ago, I got a call from somebody who identified himself as Jericho. That name ring any bells, O'Ban? Other than in the biblical sense, no. My name is Jericho. I won't repeat this, so don't interrupt. I have in my possession two kilograms of rice and powder, an amount sufficient to kill 10,000 people at minimum. What? We'll play back the tape if you don't understand. Arrange the transfer of $100 million from the U.S. Treasury to the Trust Bank of Costa Rica, account number 21905. You do this by noon tomorrow, or Los Angeles will suffer the consequences. Oh, and by the way, tell my friend Charlie O'Ban and I said happy birthday. Wait, wait just a happy minute. Happy birthday. Great. Someone finally remembers my birthday, and he's a psychopath. How do you know this guy, Jericho? I mean, I, I don't. I mean, uh, you heard it. It could be anybody's voice. Not just anybody. Someone who knows you pretty well, birthday boy. We'll check out the bank account in Costa Rica, but uh, in the meantime, we'll need a list of every mark you ever conned who might want revenge. <sighs> It'd be easy to come up with a list of the ones that don't. Just do it. Two guys with rice and powder on the same day. First, our patriotic pal, Stern, and Charlie's man, Jericho. You think they're connected? No, Stern isn't talking. He'll talk. Just needs a little incentive. Hey, come on. Hey, I'm a prisoner of war. You can't treat me like this. Hey! Infantry of the New American Brotherhood Militia. Heard about you New American fools when they had me locked up in Lewisburg. White is right. It's your motto, huh? Where you from, militia boy? We go to hell. Hey! hey. Oh, no, we do with candy bars like you in the joint. We eat them. Oh, God. Where you from, militia man? K Kansas. Oh. I got news for you, Toto. We ain't in Kansas no more. Hey! Hey, hey, get me out of here! Get me, get me out of here! Under 10 minutes, he's good. Where'd you get the ricin? I'm a prisoner of war. Under the terms of the Geneva Convention, I'm only supposed to give you my name, rank, and serial number. That's the rule. Have fun. An ad in Soldier's Magazine. Who placed the ad? A guy who wanted to help plan the freedom strike in Washington. He gave me the ricin. He told me to contact a guy named uh, O'Bannon to make the weapon. His name was Jericho. Jericho sent you to O'Bannon? Yeah, he said he was the best. 
So that's why you contacted him. Where did you and Jericho meet? Uh, freight yard downtown. Shed at the north end. Hey! You said you're gonna do something. You're right. Let him out. Kansas no more. neighborhood your friend Jericho lives in. He's not my friend. I got more friends than I need. SWAT's had the shed under surveillance since midnight. Nobody's gone in or out. Don't make them move on the 10 count. Charlie, the way Jericho was talking when he called Kowalski, he knows you work for the feds. So? So why you tell Stern you were a weapons guy? You wanted Stern caught? Jericho wanted Stern caught. He wanted us to find that shed. Oh my God. It wasn't a trap, it was a demonstration. Yeah, Kowalski. Good morning, Christine. Jericho, how'd you get this number? Oh, that's not important. You're on a countdown. 6.02 a.m., six hours to pay up or find yourselves in a real hole. Your move. Miss Mitchell, Mitchell Ben, it's your, your move, Mitchell Ben, your, your move. Rice and poisoning. 
Jericho wants us to know he's serious. You think the suits are gonna put up the 100 million? This government doesn't negotiate with terrorists. You better bring more body bags. Forensics going over the shed, but it's a safe bet. Jericho was using it as a lab to mix the toxin. Old lady saw him. Did she say what he looks like? She'd rather speak with Alphonse. You remind her of her nephew, Steve. Steve sounds like some winner. thinking about all the marks we took down before we got busted. And that drug dealer in Jersey had that laboratory, man. He knew some chemistry. Yeah, not enough. Blew himself up last year. Ice, this, this thing is killing me. Uh, you were lit fuse before we even knew about Jericho, man. What's up? We miss your birthday or something? I think I'm that petty? I don't know, but something's bothering me. I don't know what you're talking about. When you find out, just let me know. Yesterday noon, he was here, and then he left. Well, what did he look like? Was he young or old, man? Yeah. A little older than you. Uh, was he black, white, Hispanic, Asian? Does she have to be here, Steve? Chrissy? Oh, oh, wait over here. He was a white guy. Tall. Nearly six foot one. He had on um, a sort of a space suit. Space suit? Mm-hmm. Like those guys. You notice a lot. <laughs> it's kind of hard to miss, don't you think? <laughs> I got a good look at him, you know, draw your picture. Okay, I'll tell you what, uh, I'll get someone to take you down to FBI headquarters. You take me down, Steve. I'm not your nephew, Madge. Who told you I had a nephew, Steve? Hmm? I'm a little crazy, but I think she's right I gotta show you something. Forensics found this tack to the wall. It must have come loose when he tore the rest of it down. What is it? It's part of a blueprint. It could be a roadmap to Jericho. Thanks. I could have sworn this was a blueprint to an office building. It isn't? Uh, it seems like it's an engineering schematic for something much bigger. I mean, see that? That's a junction box. It handles way too much voltage for an office building. So I'm running our fragments against other schematics in the state engineering database. Oh, like a jigsaw puzzle. Whatever it fits could be Jericho's target. This is how I said Alphonse. They're with that old woman, Madge, and Penny Carducci. They're working at Benicate. But what is going on with you guys? I don't know, Chris. I mean, it seems like I spend every minute of my life with these guys. We've been paroled almost a year, and I mean, I eat with them, I live with them, I work with them. It's like we're still back in the joint. Is that a match? It's a match. Pershing Square Station. He's gonna bomb the L.A. subway. to every cop in L.A. Thanks, Madge. He looks like a bad man. Yeah, you better believe it, Steve.
you getting them out of here? Can't. What can't? There's a nutcase ready to guess half Los Angeles. Press thinks this is a regulation bomb scare. This time of day, there's over half a million people in the surrounding area. 700,000 if you count the traffic. Too many to move in too little time without killing some in a panic. Or what might turn out to be just a sick bluff. Bluff? Are you crazy? The man's gonna gas LA. Look, we're doing the best we can. I love to around here, man. There's Benny the Car Wash King. I know these people. There's Miss Chung and Sue Lin. Old man Max. These are neighbors. Oh, Ben! Bomb Squad's got one of their TR-2000 tactical robots on the subway platform. the bomb it's on a timer less than a minute to go but it's not 12 o'clock yet i know it doesn't make sense alphonse get these people out of here All right. I told you know what I'm doing. How'd you know which wire to cut? Easy. I designed it. I miss anything? How you doing? I messed up my leg. How's our fonts? Paramedics are looking after him. You know, O'Connor says that Jericho was bluffing all along. 
Don't bet on it. Well, there was no nerve gas in that device. There's enough dynamite to blow up anybody who touched it. Uh, not just anyone, me. Tell O'Connor there were two bombs, one set to release rising at 12 noon somewhere in Los Angeles if Jericho doesn't get his $100 million and then this one. But this was just a trap. It was bait for me. Bait? Oh, yeah. Jericho knew once I saw that device, I tried to disarm it. Why? Because I built one just like it eight years ago for a guy named Roger Hallecky. Hallecky said he robbed banks. He'd rent a safety deposit box, put a bomb with a timer in it, then blow the vault after hours. Well, what did he need you for? Me to me to build him a special timer. He said that he had found a bank with a very sophisticated alarm system that could detect ticking inside the vault. So he needed something that could be operated by remote control from about two miles away. And you believed him? I said I believed it was $2,000. But once I built the device, I started to feel funny about it. I followed him home to his apartment, and I found out Roger Hallecky was no bank robber at all. What was he? He was a terrorist for hire. He's going to use my device to trigger a bomb on a cruise ship in New York Harbor. Oh my God. Yeah. Luckily, someone tipped off the feds. Someone? Robbing banks is one thing, killing innocent people, that's a whole other thing. I just hope he never found out it was me, but I never thought about this guy before, because last I heard he was doing 16 years in prison. I'll tell O'Connor. All right. How's the head? Just a bump. I'll be all right. You look like you could use a new jacket. Yeah. Thanks. They're coming after me. Thanks for that, too. Hey, bad habits die hard. Hold up. I was bugged? Heard everything we said. Everything I said. He bugged me. Yeah, but how that happened, I had to get close enough to touch you. Hey, our witness from the freight yard. She finished with the identikit. Is this Roger Hallecky? Son of a bitch. Who is Roger Hallecky? Jericho. Meteorological survey and software to predict the uh, wind patterns in the LA basin. How'd you know I needed this? Been working with you too long. And Bureau of Prisons. Okay. Uh, last year, Halicki sought an emergency parole. His father was dying. And? And after opposing testimony by the agents who handled his arrest, parole was denied. Three days later, his father was dead. That couldn't have gone down too well. Didn't. It says here Halicki started a riot in the prison yard, escaped during the confusion, killing two guards, crippling a third. The man means business. Yeah, you have no idea. Come here, take a look at this. What you're looking at here are the airflow patterns around Los Angeles this time of the year. Offshore winds, mountain breezes, ocean, desert. Take a look what happens if you add a couple of pounds of powdered rice into the picture. What are those red dots? Dead people. Connor better tell the feds to pay that hundred million. Kowalski. Hello, Christine. Yeah, just a second. Go ahead, Jericho. Phone trace. Fast. Your friend's playing games, Charlie. Pretending she doesn't know my real name. Hey, how did you like your birthday present? It wasn't my color. What do you want, Hallecky? Well, I wanted to see my father one last time, but... Since that isn't gonna happen, I guess I'll have to settle for $100 million. What I'm saying about the money. No? Huh? This is about payback for me tipping off the feds eight years ago. Oh. Was that you? Actually, it is about the money, mostly. I mean, payback's a bonus, but to tell you the truth, Why, I don't man, I think about you that much, little man. I'm sorry. Did I say something to offend you? Was I being insensitive? Should I have said something more like, uh, vertically challenged? Look, whatever. Okay. And while we're talking about sensitivity, which would you prefer I call you? Pathetic low-life psychopath? Or maybe something a little less socially stigmatizing as pathetic low-life loser? Because that's what you are, Roger. You're a loser. These feds ain't never gonna pay that money. All you're doing is buying yourself a one-way ticket to death row. Well, that's too bad. 
You should have told him I'd do it, Charlie. It's on your head now. Trace it. Eight more seconds, we would have had it. Did you tape it? Yeah, I got it. Next time we want to talk about my screw-ups, let's talk about your phone technique. Alvin, right? shut up! Listen to this. Oh, is that you? Why do I know that sound? Hey, boy, hold up. Somebody help me. Hey, he's been shot. What? Would you shut that off? Only 2,000. <sighs> Should have been more. Of course, with the residual effects, I bet it's 10,000 by the end of the week. I'm enjoying this, huh? Well, you no know, craftsman should take pride in his work. <sighs> when are we dead? We're not dead because we were in the ambulance on our way over here when your bomb went off. Should have paid the hundred million. Would you have told them where you hid the rice in if they paid you? Probably not. Go ahead, hit him. But we all know those people would still be alive if it wasn't for you. What are you talking about? He did it. Yeah, with the remote control timer that you built for him. That was not my fault. Oh, I put a bug in the wrong place, and it's a capital crime. You, you build a bomb for a terrorist, and it's not your fault? Who do you think you're kidding, Charlie? Look at him. He's a second-rate thug with the gun that you put in his hand. You think this loser could do what he did without you? That loser? Shut up. Tracked O'Bannon from New York. He figured out how he was connected to the FBI. Created a false identity. Got a job in a federal building. Built a weapon of mass destruction and hit it right under your boss's nose. Huh, Charlie? Come on. Fooling O'Connor by hiding something in an air vent doesn't exactly qualify you for medicine. O'Connor? Benson. It's Kowalski! But you, you shouldn't own that. What time is it? What time is it? Captain, 
minutes. 15 minutes to noon. You tricked me. You made it easy. The bombs in Chrissy's air vent. Kill the building power. No power, no air conditioning. Hazmat, stay with us. Everybody else out of the building now. Ah, floor, secure him. Take this weapon into evidence. Hazmat, we're taking the seventh floor stairs. Kowalski's office. Move! What? Which means we're screwed. Trembler switch is like a motion detector on a car alarm. You make the slightest move and beep beep, the alarm goes off and we're all dead. What's the procedure? Oh, first, I gotta pack the mechanism with foam, then let the foam harden to immobilize the trembler, and then I gotta pop the timer box to expose the main trigger, and then diffuse it. Well, how long is that gonna take? 20 minutes. We got less than 10. Yeah, well, if we knew how the timer was wired, we could bypass the trembler and deal with the timer directly, but we don't. That's a 20-minute problem. And I'm the solution. Uh, give me one of these suits. Charlie, no! You heard him. If he knew how the timer was wired, he could deal with it. Well, I know how it was wired. Remember, I designed it. Kempler, get him a suit. Kind of think's your job, man. Yeah, Ice, it is. Jericho could have never got this far without my help. Charlie, I was scamming the guy before. Best scams come from the truth, Alphonse. Charlie, you don't have to do this. Chris, remember how I was saying that the way we're living now is almost like how we were living in the joint? Well, when these guys came after me in the subway, I realized I was wrong. The, the, the big difference is that out here, you got choices you can make. And I'm making a choice. What do you want us to do? Well, get, get everyone as far away as you can, because if I screw this thing up, I don't want to take everyone with me. And that goes for you, too, all right? There's nothing you can do for me now that I can't. Charlie. Let's do what the man says. Thanks. Go. Look, all that stuff I said, uh, come on, go, all right? It's cool. said, never raise your hand in class, you'll only get noticed. Amazing how much sense your parents make the older you get. Okay. Okay. It's not gonna work in this suit. Working in this suit's like trying to thread a needle with other mittens on. Okay. It's time to either give up I'll get to it. I swear to God, I survived this. I killed myself. Charlie O'Bannon, man of action. See one, take two. And so. With nerves of steel and bowels of stone, our intrepid hero once again wields his mighty tool. D'Artagnan of the circuit board. Where's Hobson Fuller? I volunteer to disarm a deadly device with nerve toxin. Bring some aspirin. Oh, surprise, surprise. But my design, the wires were green and yellow. Mr. Originality switched them to red and blue. Wires, wires. One red, 
red one blue. Cut the right one and you're done. Cut the wrong one and you're really done. You and about 10,000 other people. Okay, it's a 50-50 proposition. Gotta be scientific about this. Scientific, 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 okay. of watching you cough up a lung before I put a bullet in my head. Unless, of course, you'd like to beg, and then I'd be happy to shoot you, too. Which which one? We're both, we're both gonna die. Which one should I have cut? Guess. Red. Blue. Color of your mother's eyes. Hit him! Oh, God, that really hurts. Stay still. I'll cut the wire. Blue, right? Uh, red! What? Why do you just roll my head down to the end? Cut the red one. Sure. Define sure. If I cut the red and we die, I don't want to hear it's my fault, all right? Okay. And while we're at it... Now don't push your luck, huh? Nah, it was worth a shot. smoke when I was six and I'm dying of cancer now. I'll give O'Connor the all clear and get some paramedics up here. Listen, you're going to be okay. Charlie. What? If it's not too late. What's that? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday oh, come to on. you. Happy birthday, Charles O'Bannon. Thank you very much. Happy birthday to you. You're the best. Thank you for that. Here we go. Can you get me a doctor, please? Get up. It's a it's flesh wound. Get up. Come on. Pissed. Get up. Oh, she sounds like she's doing good then. Good. Maybe we'll try to drop by and see it. Yeah. All right, Fonz. Good. All right, tell Penny we're pulling for her, huh? Okay. How's she doing? She's gonna pull through. She's already giving him grief. Thank God. We were lucky. Yeah. This time. 